All right, do a quick little tool haul. Um, Mac Tools, six piece mini import terminal tool set. Suspect that's the part number right there, TT95980. Little pouch, eBay win. Actually, that was the only bidder, but it was like 30 bucks, 10 bucks shipping. Um, I don't know if I actually looked up the actual retail price for these on the Mac Tools website. Um, but these are the different part numbers and the associated clips. Looks to be pretty decent. I do have a pair of Steelman, a more complete set. Um, looks like I had a, whatever is on the handle, I need to clean it up. Um, Yeah, I guess you can push these down in there so they fit tighter. But then you get the case all drooped up like this. So, yeah, there's that. Um, it'll come in handy. I didn't expect, I thought someone else would have bid on it. I would have never been upset if I had lost on, on that. Uh, next up, can cut. No one for their drill bits. Check this out. These are the step point half inch drive reduced shank drill bit set from 916 to one inch in 16th increments. Um, that's the skew part number. Comes in this really nice solid little molded case. They're not gonna fall out. Um, step drill bits, right? So everyone sees them they go crazy for them but i've never had i've always wanted to set up large drill bits um and i saw these and i was like really it goes up to an inch uh you can't really see it well i guess if i take it closer you can see it a lot of people will care about it but it's made union made in the usa and of course, comply with government regulations, particularly OSHA, safety regulations. So, um, this is the one inch style. And as you can see, it says one inch HS USA. And here's your step bit. So, and yeah, these edges are pretty sharp. One inch, man. This is a lot of space for, for all that whatever you're cutting to come through. But one inch, this is definitely best used on my drill press. Um, the smallest one, nine sixteenth. This is awesome. This is some awesome quality stuff right here. Not sure what the the warranty on this stuff is. It didn't really come with anything. Kind of with like a little piece of thing to keep it from rattling, but obviously they're not gonna fall out. This case is so tight. Um, it doesn't have labeling anywhere else except for on the drill bits. Um, yeah, but amazing, amazing. This is a 13 16th. So most people are familiar with step drill bits. Um, as in. So most familiar are, this is again a can cut. It goes from 116 to a half and 164 increments. Most people are most familiar with these kinds. You know, you see, you know, made popular by the different um, tool truck branded um, and YouTubers and all those people that speak highly of them. In theory, I don't really have it. 
crazy specialty need for some of this stuff. I do know it's quality, and if I ever need it for a quality job, then I'd like quality work to be done. But honestly, <laughs> my little DeWalt set that I've had forever, my first set of drill bits, that's totally what I needed for. Uh, even drilling into metal, like if I'm going slow and using some cutting fluid, I can typically need that. So if this stuff ever comes in needed, I guess I have these. The benefit of these is supposedly they don't walk. They just like, they just bite and grab and go. Um, so, yeah, I guess I have a complete set of, of drill bits all the way up to a one inch. Um, yeah, I mean, let's take a, a quick little gander at one sixteenth. This is just for the hell of it. Uh, here we go. One sixteenth versus and one inch. There you go. I mean, there's a little hole back here, and this one sixteenth can fit in there with ruin a spare. Well, the tip of it. For size comparison. I mean, these things get so small, they don't, you can't even tell that they're a step. They don't even have, you can't even put a step on it at this point. Anyway, we'll put this back and then we'll, I'm pretty sure you can see the last tool that's been hanging out. This whole setup. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice set. Um, not cheap, but for what you get, I think the price was reasonable. I got it from um, JB Tools. Uh, something about JB Tools. Um, on their website, some stuff is cheaper. On their eBay website, our eBay site, some stuff is priced cheaper. So, And I think they have JB 1 and 2 on eBay. All right, so everyone can see it. Soak it in. If you've been on eBay, you've probably seen this set. And um, after my engine stand video and someone called out the price, then if you've been on eBay, you've probably seen this set. Um, again, it's one of those sets that I immediately looked up on the retail price and it's retailing for close to 900 bucks. Uh, the seller was asking six, Six, almost 700 bucks and it sat there for a while and for a, a plenty long time and I finally made an offer made a bid sold a sad story um, and he accepted it was still a pretty penny obviously um, but I didn't pay nowhere near the retail price for this Eve went taxes and shipping. Shipping was free. Um, it's missing two pieces. So I, I've bought some stuff in recent times where it's missing, and I, I got to make an inventory of that and order them. So it's missing a T40 here. We got a little rust right here. Maybe it's rust, I don't know. So we'll turn it around so we can see it. If you don't see it, you don't know it's there. Um, all right. My grandma used to say, we well, don't know, can I hurt you? So, I mean, look at this T100. I mean, will I ever need this? Half inch drive T100. Nice to have. Um, so it's missing this T40 and it is missing this number two. So I'll, I'll purchase, those are the only two. And then it's missing the case. The case does not come with it. So, you know, um, I didn't realize I had a case. I forgot where I saw it. So long story short, I, this is only my second RBRT setup. And I, I didn't really say that, but this is the Mac Tools SMX 
the E51 RBRT Master Torx bit set, T for Torx. Um, I think there's like three RBRT Master sets and slightly of a ranch here. There's been a lot of controversy about RBRT and um, RBRT. What's this a lot of controversy about RBRT. And this is only my second set of, this is my first RBRT, which came in this week. And it's just a bit sick. Um, so this is my first ever RBRT. I haven't used any RBRT before. I haven't even used these. Don't have an immediate use for them, um, but I have them. But RBRT has been out for a while to the point that I guess, you know, this is this is information that I'm just like regurgitating from people. Take it a grain of salt because I have no idea. Um, but supposedly the patent ran out for Mac and now it's uh, Grip Edge. I think it's Grip Edge. Um, I did look it up on Amazon and the price they're selling for those small sets, like a small set, I don't know, say from here to here is like over a hundred bucks. I don't know. So... Um, and supposedly Mac has more, way more extractor pieces. So um, it's all a gimmick. I'm glad I didn't, you know, cash out on this early on. Glad I waited, glad I found this used. It looks to be in great shape. I can't really find any that's like, well, let's see, is this? Uh, I thought it was damaged, but it's not. It's just a foam. But we'll see, you know, I haven't really looked at all these in great details. But my plan is to replace the two that are missing, the T40 and this number two, 530 seconds. Um, and then, yeah, um, without a doubt, I want to get the two remaining master RBRT sets. Um, hopefully the price aren't too steep. But, you know, um, if you're in the business of collecting tools for usage as you need them. And, yeah, if they pop up, then, yeah, the price is reasonable. Then, yeah, we strike a deal. Um, but yeah, that is my tool haul. So, slowly run out of space. I can see like all my tools that I've acquired are just sitting in here. Just because I haven't really, I just don't want to like stash them in places and some are missing. Like some of these bits are missing some stuff and I just want to clean it up before I, I get to it. Um, You might have seen my last video where I, I sprayed some um, fuel, uh, fluid film on this and hasn't ate through the plastic yet. Nope, looks to be intact. Um, someone recommended a product that is good for rust removal or something of the sorts. I forgot what it's called. I forgot what the name of the, the person, the name of the person is anyway. So. Yeah, we just in the garage, chilling. It's dark outside. I can hear the kids like running upstairs. My mom is probably losing her mind. So it's my turn to go up there and uh, whip them in shape real quick. I'm gonna pick up my lights. I'm gonna clean up this because this is all seen already and I'm gonna put it on that tree over there. Um, and yeah, this car is gonna be fine. There, I mean, there is, um, I mean, you can, I don't want to, there's absolutely no play. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing on it. There's no play. And then I'll show you in the back, in case you didn't watch any of the other videos, why I did not raise this car beyond its limits. Or raise it. So you can see where that, that thing right there would have made contact with the bumper if I had gone any higher. So pretty close. Um, I put my DeWalt battery pack in front of that door sensor. And as you can see, this one is flashing. That means this garage door is deactivated for the purpose of going up moving. Um, and since I'm the only one messing around in this garage, it would be fine. Um, and even if the kids ran in here without my awareness, 
and they went on the lift, it will be safe because technically I could stack 20, 19 more of these cars um, and the jack stands will just be reaching their capacity. So like I said, I'm gonna get in here, do some inspections and you know, see what's up, do car things. Um, but that was a tool haul. That was the tool haul I have. Mac RBRT, um, Mac terminal tool set, and K cut, K cut, step drill bit sets. So, let me see, maybe if I leave it like that, that will capture as my thumbnail. I'm not sure how that works because my videos are just as is, not edited. But anyway, like me always say, like on a heat of